Hello friends, hope you're doing great and in this video we're going to see how to convert a 2D logo like this into a 3D by giving some extra depth and add some animation to it. Something just like this. I'm in Adobe After Effects 2018 and here we're going to create the 3D icon and animation on the icon but we're not going to do the background or the smoke effect that you saw in the intro video but still I've given the link to the project file in the description below you can download it and you can refer it or reuse it however you want. Having said that let's create a new composition and uh, we can name it as logo and then here I'm going to use 24 frames per second and uh, let's change the length of the composition to 8 seconds and the dimensions will be 1920 cross 1080 pixels. Click OK. Now I'm going to import the 2D logo uh, and this logo I'm going to use and I'm just going to drag and drop from my local into this composition and then scale it uh, to fit properly. Now let's create another composition and call it 3D logo depth with the same dimension as 1920 1080 pixels. And then create a new solid and call it 3D logo depth. Cool. Now let's add an effect called fractal noise and apply it to the solid and change the x-axis scale to somewhere at 500 uh, or 1000 this looks better yeah and uh, let's change the interpolation to linear and here you can change the color 1 and 2 to the color you wanted and so I'm more on silver base I'm going for this white and gray color if you're looking for gold you can change accordingly little more increase the x-axis scale and then and now you pull the logo comp into the 3d logo depth comp and then change 3d logo depth uh, track mat to alpha now create another new composition call it sub comp and add the 3d logo depth comp into the sub comp now create a new adjustment layer And rename it to slider this we will use to control the thickness I mean actually the depth of the thick object and uh, then search for refit called slider and apply to the adjustment layer and let's rename it to extrusion and then search for angle control and apply to the adjustment layer and let's call it as light control okay now we'll <clears throat> I'll click on position and then add a formula so that we can control the thickness of the object actually the 3d depth of the object using the slider control so I'm going to apply the formula value plus and you can read it from here so just write that formula and then uh, something went wrong okay uh, okay select and then yeah parent it to the slider and then close the bracket apply inner shadow and then 
let's reduce opacity some of 50 percent let's raise this a bit higher so that we can view the slider the adjustment layer as well as this I'll click on angle and parent it to the angle in adjustment layer done let's make the 3d logo depth comp as uh, 3d and then add a new camera make sure it's a two node camera 35 mm and yeah done and uh, if you tilt <clears throat> the camera angle get okay, this way yeah okay it's all very thin and 2d image and let's duplicate this the 3d comp 3d logo depth comp okay uh, if you wanted to increase the thickness you can have more number of layers duplicated that will basically uh, adjust the thickness and then go to the slider and increase the slider value to one you see that's getting more depth and we can try two okay looks good you can find the depth now um fine now there's no depth now back two that's a depth you see that's that's a key and this duplicated layers and as well as the slider control works together to give that 3D depth to the object. Now let's duplicate the 3D logo depth comp in the main folder, project folder, and then call the other one as 3D logo image. And then I will disable the solid or delete it and then have the logo enabled and now put that on top of all comp 3d logo depth comps so and make it 3d now you see it looks like the image is on top of the 3d object that we created because the 3d object is based on the image so it has the same image shape and we have pasted an image on top of that so that it looks like our logo is now 3d so that's the trick here we are not actually doing 100% 3d but this cube makes it a 3d feel because when I say 100% it's like I have to increase the depth of the letter K in there the letter F in there and the camera objects inside that but we are not doing that we are just going to increase the depth of the whole shape now let's add a fill to the last 3d logo depth and you know it why because I'm going to give some glow at the back so I'm going to fill it with a color you can the, the fill color determines the color of the glow and and how you want it so and we will add some blur to it CC radial blur okay CC radial fast blur and increase the amount to 75 now you'll see it's kind of glowing okay now I just adjust the camera okay, and reduce the amount a bit to 60 and then this adjust the center position so that the glow comes out from the middle so it's spread across everywhere evenly let's change the quarter okay now I go to I want the glow to start around like 4 to 5 seconds let's have it 5 seconds okay there Let's put a keyframe on the amount and make it zero. And then go to 
to six the second and then increase to the 60 okay that's max glow amount that we wanted in the animation and then and let's end it around 7.5 seconds okay make it make the amount to zero yeah now that we have applied the glow effect to the logo um, now let's apply some light sweep effect so I'll just select 3d logo image comp and search for CC light sweep effect and apply it to 3d logo image and this center controls the direction like uh, from where the light sweep has to happen if you've noted in the previous animation which I showed in the beginning of the tutorial the light sweeps from right of the logo to the left of the logo so I'll pull the keyframe to somewhere in three seconds where my animation starts and put the center uh, I'm playing a keyframe and then and then I'll have the direction from top right to the bottom left yeah that's how the light has to be so if you see now it is gone if I plug in you'll see that there is a glow happening on the logo so that's how I want it and then uh, my animation has to end around somewhere five seconds and then and the light has to sweep all the way from right to the left of the logo so I push the center to somewhere in the left yep okay and then yeah it applies a keyframe there so if we see how our animation looks so let's preview okay the light sweeps from right to left looks good okay done the glow we have done the light sweep let's do the light race so let's apply the CC light rays effect to our 3D logo image comp and then let's put a keyframe on the intensity as we have to control the intensity for the rays to increase and then decrease through our animation and I want the animation to end between somewhere to 4 to 5 seconds so I put my last keyframe there and there is a field called center because that controls the direction in which the light rays fall so and I want the light rays to end at the top of my logo so I'm going to put, place the center on top of my logo when the animation ends and put a keyframe on the center and there we go it's there and then our animation should, should start okay the light ray should start between two to three seconds and it has to start from bottom and then the intensity has to be zero when it starts and the intensity increases in the middle and then again it has to become zero when it ends so that the rays increases and decreases parallelly it goes from bottom to top of the logo let's let's preview it okay that's how it is and then comes the glow cool uh, let's play around uh, the, the timing in which the animation starts so uh, I'll just juggle between the keyframes and okay yeah let's push the light sweep also okay now let's preview it Cool. Now that we have animated the logo with the lights and rays and a glow, let's give some camera moments. I'm going to just show a basic camera moment here and with this you can do your own technique, your own way of approach in how you wanted the logo to get animated with a different camera angle. So I'm going to apply a keyframe on the point of interest and the position of my camera you can also apply keyframes and orientation x y rotations it depends on your own preference so i'm just going to give you a basic thing so i wanted to end it at 3.5 seconds so i put a keyframe there and i go to the first frame and adjust the camera so that how i wanted it to be like um, kind of tilted when the animation starts 
Probably you can use that orbit control if you click on the camera icon there, you will have kind of an XY control, Z control and orbit control which, can, which helps you to handle the camera a little bit easier. So. And I've give a key, given a keyframe for camera zoom also. That kind of it zooms out as animation proceeds. I've given a keyframe assist so that the animation starts slowly and then ends fast. Hope you found the video useful and if you like it, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel as we have more videos coming related to photography, videography, VFX and CG animations. See you again with another good content. Until then, bye.